What's up, guys? It's Raph in the Raph Cave. Welcome back to another <sighs> LG CX C10 65 inch OLED from LG. I am so dang happy. Finally, guys, the TV to own is here. There's no doubting this TV. There's no denying how great this TV is. You all know it. OLED is king. Period. This TV is absolutely wonderful, guys. So I had some time to, to tweak it out the settings. I had some time to get reacquainted with the glory of the LG interface. And guys, this is a, an incredible, incredible TV. TV show, it's like regular antenna. Upscaled, clean. Motion, clean. No jitter, no weird effects back and forth. It's just an awesome picture. The, the OS on this, simplified, smooth, all your apps pop up really nice in the bottom. Just great. Just love the interface. Just going around the different apps, navigating and all this stuff, moving stuff around, customizing it the way you want, eliminating some apps you don't want. Fully customizable, fantastic. <sighs> Man, come on. It's just so dang good, you guys. <sighs> I appreciate everybody hanging out, hanging on with me. Not jumping off the ship of the Raft Cave Club, hanging on and going through this journey with me uh, of the debacle of the Samsung Q800T. It's crazy to think that I had an 8K TV right here just two days ago, and I was not impressed. That it's not here anymore. 8K TV is not here. It's gone. It's back. I have 4K OLED. That is enough said. No, AK OLED, yes. Not right now, not for 65 inch in the realm of us budget consumers. <sighs> I love it, guys. This TV is so amazing. You guys know it. You guys that have a C9, you guys are great, right? If you have a C9, you're fantastic. You're, you're good to go. No reason to sell it and upgrade to this because you got a great, great TV. Now, if you have the the 8 series or the 7 series, absolutely, you go to the 10 series. Absolutely, guys. But yeah, if you have a C9 and you want to get the CX, I mean, you could. I mean, if you want to try to sell it and pay a few hundred bucks, you, you won't be disappointed. I mean, there's some things on this processor that gives a little bit more brightness. There's some things on this processor that has slightly better upscaling. And down the road, when updates happen and more software comes out and more tweaks are involved, the more powerful processor will be able to take more advantage of it. And if you're a gamer, PC gamer and all this stuff, you want the latest and greatest, the CX is definitely it. That's my beagle. If I was playing some uh, Gears of War last night, I was playing some Mortal Kombat last night, I mean, God, the picture is so good. It's just, it's just unbelievable. My, my mind is at ease. The motion on the gaming is perfect. The black levels are perfect. Color is spot on. Motion is great. The, the, the brightness is just fantastic. The HDR in this is just incredible. I mean, if you're in a bright room, maybe not the brightest. But if you have a controlled light room or in basement, of course, there's no, there's no brainer here. It's, it's just, you got to get this TV. The 48-inch will be out in June. That'll be the go-to for a desktop OLED TV. But for me in the Raft Cave, Raft Cave is all about big and experiences and an epic engulfment. And that 65 inch is perfect for me and this desk, it fits just perfect. Now the primary reason for this TV is for the next gen consoles, Xbox One X, uh, Xbox Series X, and the PS5. They're gonna go actually right underneath the TV, side by side, directly into the TV, 2.1 HDMI, full 4K 120 HDR hertz, it's going to be amazing. This TV is built for next-gen consoles, guys. So if you're saving up, save up for the C10 or C9 and get the next-gen. You're going to get the absolute maximum performance from those, those consoles on this panel. I, I Trust me, you are. You're going to get the best of this. I mean, guys, this is a fantastic TV. The interface is great. Uh, uh, gaming is just spot on. Movies are incredible. I mean, watching Netflix on this with Dolby Vision... Oh, delicious, Mwah. perfection. I 
mean, you see how thin this TV is, guys. You see the back of it, how, how clean it is, that aluminum, that brushed aluminum sheen on the back. Just glorious. Wire management is awesome on this one. It's such a clean TV, man. The sound is great too, guys. The AI sound on this one, you use your remote control, the mic on the remote, and it will calibrate the area to give you maximum sound when the speaker's built in. And they're not bad either. The sound is not bad on this TV, which is surprising. It comes out right on the bottom, straight at you, not out of the back or not downward. It comes straight at you, which is awesome. So sound is a plus. Uh, this TV has a AI uh, genre, so it detects the, 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 the video you're watching and optimizes it. If you want to do that, you can. Um, I haven't really done that too much because normally this room is a little bit dimmer, so I kind of set it and forget it as far as picture settings go. Um, as far as the uh, the whites go, um, you guys are saying that there's a blue tint to it. I don't see that. But I also have mine on warm as well, warm setting. I like that more natural, not so bright and intense, a little more calm looking. We got an ad coming up. Taker. It's my favorite wrestler right there. <laughs> Edge. Remote control is great, guys. I mean, the magic remote. Move the pointer around the screen. Really awesome. I like it. Uh, this has a voice control on it, so you can do either Bixby, Google, or, or Alexa. Uh, it, it's just it's just a finer remote. Magic remote is just a finer remote. Really nice. Well, let's flip on some gaming, guys, huh? Let's check out a gaming on this one. Now, what you want to do, guys, is uh, if you want to maximize the... If you're using it as a PC monitor, you want to make sure you put this as a, a PC symbol to get the 444 chroma on here. I'm running everything through my uh, receiver. That's a Denon 4300H. Right now it's raining, so it's a little bit darker. But, I mean, gaming on this TV, oh my god, what an experience. This large screen, but also the detail you're getting. Awesome detail. The backgrounds look great. Motion on this is awesome. Very responsive. This is Days Gone on PS4 Pro. I'm gonna have fun with this game. But gaming is just a it's, a, it's just a whole nother level with this TV. Whole nother level, guys. Incredible TV. Incredible TV. Incredible. Normal TV. Hope you guys are doing okay, right? Getting through this. But normal TV on this antenna is clean. Looks great. Colors, motion, upscaling. Awesome, man. It's just awesome. It's just awesome, guys. You got the, the guide here, so you can scroll through all your channels. I have over 150 channels from, you know, online, online channels to my local antenna. So I can see all the orange ones here. This is off the internet. Free internet stations. Just a great guide. And then my, lo my regular channels are here in the white. Just a great, 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 great TV, guys. Not much else I can say about this one, guys. I'm just glad I have this, man. I'm just so glad I have this TV. And I appreciate all you guys uh, joining me on the unboxing video. It's just crazy, man. It's crazy how good this TV is. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Iron Fist. Oh, man. I don't know, guys. You guys just let me know. What do you want to see? 
you guys let me know what you guys want to see. All right, I'll make some more videos on this. You know I will. But for right now, guys, just know that I, that the raft cave is complete. This TV is here. You guys knew it. I knew it. And now it's back. And it's not going anywhere, guys. Mwah. LG C10CX. This is the TV to own. It's the best. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Home theater rules. Take care, guys. Raph out. See ya.